Welcome back to another episode of Way 45. Now, as you can see, we've got a new team on the screen. And you're probably wondering why the centre forward spot is quite blank right now and why no one's in that position. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Way 45, but he's back. So, as you guys have just seen, yes, the Don Karim, the Ballon d'Or winner, is back on the screen. He's back in the series. Now, the series is not about him, however, it's still about Rafael Leal, but it's nice to have Benzema back in the team. As you look and see, 10 games, 10 goals, 10 assists. Literally, he's a, he is the triple-double, the triple-double, Mr. Triple-double, we're going to call him, because he does everything, he scores, he gets assists, you know what I mean? Liao been fantastic as usual. This guy here, now you're gonna see why the Traveller shot is so broken for 23 because of this card right here. But this is a new team, Courtois, who caused me nightmares over the weekend. I've now added him to my team so that he can be a nightmare against other people for me. Sure, many upgraded one to watch card. Militao was back in the squad now from obviously being in the series earlier. Valverde in the team and as usual we've still got other players a few a few new faces on the bench you know Salah's up to the bench now because obviously I have removed a lot of the Premier League and level players from the squad but we've got a new team and let's see how this new team does in our gameplay today first game of today's episode we came up against a nice decent league R Bundesliga side a bit of Serie A in there as well um, and we actually started off under a bit you know he had a chance to hit the crossbar Ball fell back to Chiesa, I think he tries to cross it here, but we clear it away, and straight away the counter-attack starts, and here Benzema gets his first goal on his return, as you can see, from when Benzema's through on goal, I think everyone in this, I think all the viewers know, I know, when Benzema's 1v1 against the goalkeeper, I'm always scoring, I can't lie, Benzema is someone that is, he's 9 out of 10 for me. Nine chance, sorry, ten chances. He'll score nine goals at least. Like Benzema is so good on FIFA. He's been good on FIFA for like the last two, three FIFAs now, and especially with his um, lengthy accelerate type as well. This guy is just gonna be even, even more overpowered than usual. Here we make it three 0 three goals in quick succession. Really, you know, I was dominating the game and I was putting away my chances today. You know, I felt really, really good um, playing FIFA this week. I think. From the weekend and last week to today, FIFA felt so much different. It felt like the gameplay felt better. It felt a bit smoother. I could actually pass the ball. I could actually do the fundamentals, do the basics. And I felt like I was. I felt like I was playing a video game again. I felt like I was playing a game based off of football, not just a game. Well, I say that and then that happens because that's not really realistic. But you know. We charge it but yeah i felt like i was playing this fever before the patch happened and I, I liked it i was enjoying it for a bit obviously there were still games where i have those moments where it's like oh this game bruv why is it behaving like this why is this and that happening why can't fifa just be why can't fifa maintain the same correlation throughout here we went one nil down we were struggling at the start of this game to be fair again talking about the passing the passing was letting me down in the first half of this game but eventually things just fixed himself here chance with Chiesa I thought I scored great save from his keeper to be fair came back again Valverde to Chiesa but again just bullied me off the ball with Varane came through again Benzema back to Chiesa tried to cut it back across and he just he just managed to make the save his keeper his keeper was saving him at the start of this game I won't lie but yeah like I was saying about the gameplay FIFA felt like a game I was enjoying again for a bit but then I know once I go back into foot champs this weekend and I'm on stream twitch uh, link in the description stream schedule I'm gonna make a new stream schedule as well so you guys always know when I'm streaming as well it felt like it always feels a bit different when I start playing champs and I'm streaming I feel, I feel like the gameplay just just falls apart nice bit of skill there from Benzema oh my gosh I'm so happy to have him back in the squad because Benzema back in the team means I actually have like a just a clinical striker now Kiesa up front isn't bad 
But I think this FIFA, you kind of need a big striker. You kind of need someone like Benzema or Lewandowski. Haaland, I'm not really I'm not really a fan of Haaland in FIFA. I haven't used it, but even when I just look at him against me, I'm just like, bro, this card looks meaty. I would never want to use this card. I remember trying that Triore card, as we can see the second goal here, stupidly. And it's Saul off. Saul off again, a card that's actually giving me a problem this FIFA. Like, when I look at that Haaland card and that Triore card, I see the similarities. Here I was so annoyed, I thought I scored. I literally almost jumped up my seat when I was actually making this recording. Eventually, we did get the goal with Salah though. A uh, nice bit of combination play between him and Hernandez. Meta rat. Yes, I'm a meta rat. I'm a meta rat, all right? Leave me alone. But like I was saying, I don't really think Haaland is a good striker this FIFA. I feel like people like Haaland and there's all this reports and hype about him being good. But every time I've played against Haaland, I've always dealt with him. And it's like, the only time is he scores against me, and you know I've seen on stream, is those jammy goals. Or like when he's wide open in the box. Like those, those jammy goals where he'll like, shoot, he'll hit my keeper, hit Ireland again and go in. And I'm just like, right, what is this game on? Here in this game, I was taken aback straight away. That first shot, he green timed it. And I was just like, oh, okay. He's on, he's on serious badness. He's not here to play games. He's, he's here to war, man. Again, another mistake there. He crosses it in. Look, Harlan, obviously, that's a great finish. That, that's a good goal. I have to give it to him. But overall, Harlan isn't like, I don't feel worried when I play against Harlan in this FIFA. If anything, I would prefer to play against any other strap. I prefer to play against Harlan than most strikers in this game. Benzema, again, showing you why I say he's 9 out of 10 when it comes to chances. Literally, nine, if you give him 10 chances, I'm getting 9 goals. Here again, look, through on goal. 2 2. Just, just from Benzema having 2 chances, it's 2 2. So that's what I mean. Benzema's like Benzema's always gonna be one of my favorite strikers to use on FIFA. Obviously, I thought he might not be the same as last FIFA, but he was still the same. Again, Teo Hernandez, Matter Rap. Like, why should my left back be able to just uh, traveller it green and it flies in past the keeper like that? I even saw a video on Twitter one day about Koulibaly. Uh, I saw Koulibaly doing it. Someone doing it with Koulibaly, and I'm just like, what the hell is this game? I think those are one of those quick. It's not gonna be a quick fix for E. I think. It's going to be like when Green Time Finesse's first came into FIFA 20. I think FIFA 19, FIFA 20, FIFA 19 around that time. EA aren't going to fix it until next FIFA. Chavilla is going to be broken for the whole of FIFA. EA aren't going to fix it until next FIFA. And yeah, 4-2 win after coming that back from 2-0. We I was actually enjoying FIFA. I was having fun and I was winning games. I was playing in my best FIFA. Here I thought I was going to be in trouble because I looked at that back line and I said, Ooh, there's a whole lot of length in that back line. There's a whole lot of length and girth in that back line. Alaba and um, Kanate. I was thinking, okay, I might be in trouble here. We steamrolled this guy. It was nice work. It was light, easy. His attackers, Haaland, again, didn't have a sniff because Haaland is like everyone. I feel like in this FIFA, when you come up against like Neymar, Messi, Mbappe, Ronaldo, all those kind of players, you can't even do the whole low block thing anymore. You actually have to come out and defend because if you decide you're going to drop off and let and make it hard for someone to create chances and get in behind, they're going to just do L2 and circle. Especially with someone like Messi and Neymar, you don't want them having a chance to do L2 and circle. Or even a finesse shot with Messi. You don't want to give them that chance because it's the worst thing you could possibly do. Because 8 times out of 10, it's going to result in a goal. Here we are again on the counter attack after Haaland was, was stripped of the ball. Benzema, from the same angle, three chances, three goals. What a player. He's so good. He's just so, so good. Benzema's so good. Here again, Hernandez. Nice little bit of build-up play here. Just nice little build-up play. Cut in. Liao. Nice. It's like, that was, this was FIFA at its best for a while, for the last couple of days. Here's Benzema again. Meta rat, and it's a goal. But that was FIFA at its best, and I really enjoy the game when FIFA feels like that. When FIFA doesn't feel like FIFA, I can't play it, I can't make good content, and I just, I, it kind of irks me that I'm having to like make content on the game I'm not enjoying. It just kind of irks me when I'm not enjoying the game, and I feel like when I am enjoying FIFA, I play my best FIFA. This is probably one of my favorite teams I've used in a while. I don't think I've lost the game with this team yet. I think I've drawn one or two, but I actually lost the game. And now that I'm saying that, I'm probably going to go into champs on the weekend and get a few dumb losses against me. And the gameplay will feel completely different and I'll hate FIFA again. But I've enjoyed using this team and I'm 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 ready for champs this weekend. I think only issue maybe could be Dest right back. But I feel like Dest is good. I feel like everyone talks about Dest at right back because it's a low rated card. Da -da -da -da. Dest in game is, fan is fantastic. He's solid. 
if you know how to play FIFA, you know how to defend, Dest is a solid option to use. But, as you guys know, it is Thursday. We are going to get into our Div Rivals rewards real quick. On the screen, we've got our Div 4 Rival rewards. We did get promoted into Division 4 after the games we just played from Div 5 to Div 4. We've got two Prime Gold Player Packs, two Rare Mega Packs. And we're going to open... We're going to start off with a Prime Gold Player Pack. Hopefully, there is something in these packs. Our position cards are still here. I don't think that's a walkout. Oh, no, it is. Oh, is that Tierney? Is that Tierney or Robertson? Robertson. So, we did get a walkout in our first pack. Got a quick start of Spurs player because we're not having them boy there. Here, I'm gonna go into a rare mega pack now. I like kind of like mixing it up. I don't think that's a walkout again, is it? CDM, yeah, no, not a walkout. So the rare mega pack doesn't give us much. Should give us a few maybe consumables in here. Got the boy Ramsdale. Yeah, again, nothing much. Nothing much in that rare mega pack. Gonna go back to the prime goal players pack. Hopefully, we can get another walkout. I think I think from Rivals Rewards you should get at least two walkouts minimum. Yeah, again, see these packs, these packs are not giving anything. If I was to save these packs for like a for like Friday for team two of out of position, it'd be a waste because I'm getting nothing from these packs. Final pack, Rare Mega Pack, surely. It's not a walkout again. Or is it? Uh, we get Kulabani untradeable, not bad. He's probably gonna be fuller because he doesn't fit our team. I don't really see a point in trying to fit him into our team. If it was tradable, I would have just sold him. Yeah, nothing else in these packs. And that is it for today's episode of Wave 4 5. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash the like button. Make sure to comment down below how you're finding FIFA 23. I'm finding it, again, I'd say, I'd say it's about a 4 out of 10 for me right now, FIFA 23. It could be better. If they just, if they just kept it how it was at the start, I really would have enjoyed it. And subscribe if you are new to the channel. The road to 200 subs is still on. And I know you guys can help me achieve that goal. Be the first milestone that I've actually set the viewers on the JTRO channel. And I hope you guys agree. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again. And I'll see you a lot on the weekend for a whole leap of streams around foot champs this weekend. Hopefully we can get 14, maybe even push to get 16 wins. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident with the team that we got. Let's just hope EA don't let me down. See you on the next episode. Peace.